Welcome back to the lip product declutter. We're starting with my tower of lipsticks that I'm throwing everywhere. I'm starting with these. These are new. Just got them with Black Friday, not going anywhere. They are a mini of um, Charlotte Tilbury uh, lipsticks. There's Very Vergara, Pillow Talk and Walk of No Shame. Keeping all of these, of course, and uh, they're new. So here I also have a new Kokolov by Clio Makeup, which is in the shade Antoinette, which I used once and I'm already loving. It's a beautiful tinted lip balm, gorgeous. But what I want to do is go through my MAC lipsticks and decide what to keep because they're here and I don't use them a lot and it hurts my soul. So. Let's start. I have them with a um, little clear top on here, but uh, I also saved the, the black ones. Um, this one is my oldest and most battered one. It's retro. Love it. Not getting rid of this one. I use it actually. Um, Marrakesh. I also love and use. This one's staying as well. Um, Chili. Actually. I don't know. This is a maybe because I don't really love the color on me that much and I think I have other similar things. So this one is a maybe. Velvet Teddy, I bought it because of the limited edition packaging. It's not the most beautiful shade on me. So I actually think I'll get rid of this one. God, that was difficult. This is a Powder Kiss. It's in the shade Sultry Mauve. I love it. This is a good nude for me. Love this. Definitely keeping it. Um, good Form is a luster lipstick. Relatively new to me. I like it in the summer. It's very, yeah, just shiny and easy to wear. I actually want to swatch Antoinette because it's a very similar idea. Oh, it's much more sheer. Yeah. This one was really great. It, it wore, wore really great yesterday. Then I have Stay Curious from the, um, what is it called? Powder Kiss. Love this coral. It was part of my like favorite lipsticks video that I did in summer. Next one is Spice It Up. Another luster, I believe. Yes. And this one is much darker and plummier. I do love these in summer. I know that. So I'm going to keep that. Maybe actually putting them next to each other. D for Danger, stunning, definitely keeping. Um, okay, I'm not gonna get rid of many, but <laughs> love D for Danger. Then we have Lustering, which is also a luster finish, but it's a pink. And this is kind of the only pink lipstick I own and love to use. So keeping, keeping that one. I don't know how to arrange these, but. Russian Red, um, it's beautiful, but I never wear it. And it's literally new. Um, so I will actually get rid of this one. It's it's a gorgeous red, but I, I don't know. It's not, I don't wear it. Diva, I have so little remaining of this one and I have a backup, which is awful. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this one and get rid of my spare. Where is my spare? Here it is. I had bought it because of the beautiful packaging. Uh, limited edition again, same as with the Velvet Teddy in the monochrome collection. I have made such bad. It's absolutely new. I'll actually try to sell this one then. Oof, painful, very painful. And I'll keep this one. Very painful, ow. Oh, but I can't keep makeup for collection. I can't. Bowl Me Over, limited edition from 2017, I wanna say. Gorgeous, keeping it, beautiful shade. Modern Temptress, another limited edition from their Ultra... What is it? Oh, no, just a matte. They're quite similar, actually. Ooh. I don't know about this one, maybe. Antique Velvet is my favorite brown lipstick. Keeping it stunning. I have Dubonnet, which is an amplified finish, and I don't like it. The finish, that is. So I'm getting rid of that one. Instigator. Oh, I love this dark purple. I love it. But it's very similar to the Viva Glam Ariana Grande. These are shades that I used a lot a few years ago. Very similar. 
Um, I think I might actually keep Ariana Grande and get rid of Instigator. There, bum, so happy. <laughs> very, very uh, ruthless, I have to say. I have actually more Rebel here. Um, I love this one, I will keep it. It's a perfect purple for me. Uh, I have Fire Roasted, this was my wedding color. Not getting rid of that one at all. Uh, the formula is beautiful, it's a beautiful warm red. More, more for me than uh, 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 this one, which is Russian red, for example. Um, and it's quite similar to Dubonnet, but I love this formula, so I'm keeping that one. And then I have Double Fudge, which is another brown, but I think, yeah, I had done this exercise already. It's very similar to Antique Velvet, so I'm getting rid of that one. I even don't know, I think I had it cluttered it last year even. Hmm. So that was my MAC lipstick collection. I'm gonna continue on the other hand so that I can compare things, but continue with like normal colors because those are very weird colors. So I'd rather continue here because I have some more reds. I have Moolak Cosmetics Dark Heart. Um, I love this color and I love this formula, definitely keeping it. Quite similar to Fire Roasted though, but it's Fire Roasted is a little bit brighter, I feel like. Um, Crazy Like a Fox by Moolak. The formula of this is a brick, but it's a beautiful, I look at it, similar to, even deeper than Russian Red. It's a beautiful warm red, definitely keeping that one. Wonka from Moolak also keeping. Terrible formula, but a beautiful ready, ready brown. Oh, very similar to Bowl Me Over. But I can't get rid of that. I don't know. It was so unique and beautiful. Keeping them all. This is not going great. Um, Color Rich Ava's Nude. This used to be my favorite nude. And the lightest nude I could ever wear. It's still good. There's still quite a bit. Um, I'm going to keep it. I, I'm going to keep it. It's fine. When I want a really light nude, I need to remember I have it. Burberry Russet. This was a gift. And it's a beautiful sheer... It's very similar to um, this one right here, which is Good Form by MAC. But it was a gift and it's beautiful, so I'm keeping that one. And then this one right here is also a gift and it's Poppy Red. Oh, so beautiful. I used it a few times. But I think I will actually get, yeah, I will think I will gift it on because it's beautiful, but I don't wear this color. So that will go. Sorry. I feel horrible when uh, decluttering gifts is really awful. Cinnamon Spice by Wet n Wild. This is one of my favorite, used to be one of my favorite shades because it looks really good on me. Um, but I don't know that I need it. I'll keep it. It was two, two euros. I'll keep it until it goes bad, I guess. This is Dose of Colors Aftermath, a collaboration between, with Desi and Katie. And it's a brownie nude. I don't dislike it. I don't love it, but I don't dislike it. This one is not going anywhere. This is Velvet Jazz by Lisa Eldridge. Put it among the dark reds. Ooh, look at that. It's actually cooler toned then Dark Heart, for example, and then Fire Roasted. Um, yeah, definitely keeping that one. Gift, also, Pat McGrath, um, Obsessed. Yes. And this is a bright, bright orangey red. Definitely keeping it. It's beautiful. Can't wait for summer to wear this more. Melt Cosmetics Mum. Very unique brown nude. I like it. I'll keep it. And then here I have my infinite line crime lipsticks that I haven't used in a year. I'll check that they're also good, and uh, but I think they will all go. But they're all so pretty and they're all still so good. I think I'll get rid of this one, Lace Up, for sure. The last one I swatched. Bomber can go. This one right here, it's a mauve that I will not use. Where is it? Here. 
and fishnet is this really really cool toned and the thing is I kept these because I wanted oh what if I want to do a look that has a cool toned lip but I'm not about that life anymore now I wear makeup to actually wear it out so I'm not gonna use that one varsity which is the more pinky one here I'm also gonna get rid of choker will go and this one pump yeah all they'll all go ruthless ruthless this year I'm gonna switch hands because now we're actually <laughs> it's too much um, this is trapeze by Colourpop this was one of my uh, quests for the perfect bright coral and actually I want to see it next to Obsessed by Pat McGrath. Oh goodness, they're quite similar. Obsessed is a little bit deeper. I'll uh, wait for the summer to compare if I'm gonna use these or not, but they're very similar. Trapeze, I like the formula also of these Lux lipsticks. This is a matte, matte finish. I have this Clarins uh, tint that I used once and I don't like, or I don't, I don't find myself using it, so I'll get rid of that one. This is a Clarins uh, lip comfort oil. I need to put it with my glosses because um, I should use it more, but I forget. Um, more Colourpop. This is Chocolatier. It's a cream formula. I should put it with the rest of my browns, but I'm not getting rid of any, rid of, any of these because I really like them. Uh, cinnamon is a beautiful brown. I love these. Are they similar? No, they're all very different, right? Very different. And then Brick. So I actually wear Brick, but looking at it like this, it's super cool toned. But I do wear it, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, I have Nabla Nolita, which is a very me color. Quite dry in texture, but I like these from Nabla. Uh, Platonic Love is one of my favorites. Gorgeous shade. Super dry, but it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. So I'm not gonna get rid of that one. And Elusive, which is a beautiful nude. Yeah, keeping that one as well. Still gorgeous. Then I have three Anastasia Beverly Hills shades. Uh, Rosewood, which is one of my favorites. I use it actually quite a bit. I just need to put this on my desk instead of having only my liquid lipsticks on my desk so that I remember. This one here is Spice. Oh, quite similar to Elusive actually. But it's a nice dark nude, I do wear it. And finally Rogue, which I wear very little actually. Oh, I've worn very little, maybe one time. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one actually. Rogue will go. Then uh, Syrup Waffle by Neve Cosmetics. Oh, this one has gone off so badly, it smells awful. A friend of mine was just telling me about it on Instagram that she had the same problem. I love this color. I love the formula, but it's off. This will go in the trash directly. These two I love. These are the Sephora, what are they called? Rouge Brilliance, and they are sheer glittery lipsticks. And I use them a lot in summer. They're very easy to use. I have a coral one and I have a nude one. They're really great. Very easy to throw on. And they're different colors from the lusters. Um, they're a bit more glittery than the lusters as well. And then I have from Pixie. This is Bitten Rose. And I have... Oh, but this is beautiful. I'll keep it. I have yet to use it. But I'll keep it because it's beautiful. Okay. That went well. I think we have one more place, which is the crazy colors here. I have a Maybelline Shine Shot and I use this when I want a clear, completely clear gloss. Um, I don't wear it out though, but I keep it for more editorial looks. I have a Teal Kiko Velvet Passion lipstick, which I don't know. Does one need a teal lipstick in their lives? I think so. I like it. Vivid Rose, this one is 2000 years old. It's a beautiful fuchsia, but it's going in the trash. It's really too old. I have it since, I don't know, 2013, 2014. Same with this um, Revolution, Makeup Revolution Atomic shade. It's a nice green, but 
it's it will just go in the trash <laughs> I'm afraid it's too old essence this is quite recent and it's a deep blue I think I'm gonna keep this one in case I get a blue moment oh and I have a Mac blue which is blue bang this was part of a gift for national lipstick day or something whenever am I gonna wear this I'm gonna declutter it <laughs> And these are all my, yeah, bullet lipsticks. I still have I still have all of my lippy sticks to do, so I'm going to see if I can fit them on these hands still because they kind of have a similar formula, right? Um, well, Runaway, I don't have anything like this. It's a bright but deep fuchsia. Love it. Definitely staying... I don't know that I will get rid of any of these, to be honest. Hollywood Boulevard, a very unique brown, very pretty. And I love the formula of these. Oh, it's actually quite similar to this guy right here, which is... What are you called? I missed it. Cinnamon. I actually will get rid of this one because I prefer Cinnamon's formula. Or, I don't prefer Cinnamon's formula, but I... I don't know actually what I prefer. I like them both, but they're the same color. One is more creamy and one is more matte. But I'll get rid of Hollywood Boulevard. Taurus. Um, ah, beautiful, creamy. It's a little bit more orange, I feel like. I'll keep it. Secret Stash is one of my favorites from Colourpop, but I have a feeling that I have a thousand colors like this. Like, it's, I don't know, I actually don't see any exact dupe. It's beautiful, I'll keep it. Um, Chateau, this is one of the last ones I bought. And it is a deep red, maybe I'll, I'll swatch it with the deep reds. More purple, actually similar to Diva. I'll keep it because I like the formula and I like the color. NYX is one of my favorite berries ever to wear. I don't have many and I don't wear many, but it's the most beautiful thing. It's like an in-between these darker ones that I have. Keeping this one. Ziggy is no question that I'm keeping it. It's one of the best ones they ever made. And again, a color that I probably have in a, a lot of different ways, but yet so different. So Alice. So battered actually <laughs> and finally gold digger which is the lippy sticks virgin version of bumble from colourpop which is a nice rosy tone that i don't have anywhere else so i'm keeping those that one was all now really all of these lipsticks bullet lipsticks until i get um my pat mcgrath order which is still on the way but that was one lipstick called in flesh three so that you won't see Let's continue. Moving on to liquid lipsticks. I, I'm not overwhelmed. I don't have infinite liquid lipsticks, but there's plenty. And here I have more my more unusual colors. Starting with the ones that are new. This is a Clio Makeup Choco Red, not getting rid of. And this is Adam's Dream by Nabla, not getting rid of. So these stay and go back into my new liquid lipstick collection. I will swatch them for the sake of having all the colors together. Wow, I love this so much. I'm so happy I finally got it. And this one is a satin nude. Beautiful. Perfect colors for Alice. A few other new ones. Um, these are the Jouet Minis from the set. This is uh, Cherie, which I love. Not going anywhere. I don't know where to put them though. This is Ballerina and I will be decluttering this. It's way too light and way too pink for me. So this one will go. And this one here instead is Terra. And I actually quite like it as a, as a light nude for me. It's on the limit of how light and gray I can wear nudes. But I'm keeping this one. And now we can go through all of these. Maybe pulling out the dark red so I can see the comparison with Choco Red. This is Ofra Havana Nights. I love the formula of this. It's moussey, doesn't set. 
not ideal for the situation we're in now with masks, but it's a very nice color. Definitely keeping it. Where's gonna be my declutter palette? It's gonna be there. Then I have Wicked by Lime Crime, which I haven't used in a long time, but I used others. Ooh. Um, I used others from this line uh, recently and I really, really like them. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't, like I, I have Choco Red that I love as a color. Another dark one is this L'Oreal Chocolat in the shade Coco Crush, which I bought a year ago and used once. Nice deep, deep red, different color, keeping it. I think that's it for the dark reds, I'll continue. This is Nabla Baudelaire, I wore it the other day, it's so beautiful. Beautiful, a little bit more muted as you can see of a, of a red, keeping that one for sure. I'm also keeping uh, Placebo by Nabla, love this one as well, it's just unique, very beautiful, rosy red there. My Melted Mats Gingerbread Girl and Gingerbread Man will definitely stay, no question about it. I love these. I love these. Different color families, of course, but I really, really like these. Definitely staying. Um, Saddle by Lime Crime is staying. Wore it recently. Beautiful brown. Gorgeous. Keeping that one. Another brown is Salem by Lime Crime, which is more of a brown, brown. Beautiful. Formula of these is still so, so spot on. More browns. Um, cork by Dose of Colors. This is also one of my favorite formulas. This is a very light brown, but I, it, it works for me. I don't know why. And then we have Chocolate Wasted by Colored Rain. And not Colored Rain, Dose of Colors. Similar to Salem, but on my lips it's a bit darker and a little bit warmer. From them I also have Brick, which is a red-ish shade. Oh, quite similar to that guy, which is the Nabla one, but a little bit still different. Not going anywhere, I love these. And for Nude I have Truffle from this line. They're all really, really beautiful. And yeah, again, lightest nude I can wear. <laughs> Um, from these, I actually need to check if they're still good. Seems like it. This is Bittersweet, which is a kind of a nudie brown, which is so unique, very weird on me, but super nice. No stink on this one either. This is Hudson. I love how this dries down to a like more orangey tone. And finally, Dazed. This one has a bit of a smell actually. And it's quite similar to placebo, so this one I'll throw away. Trash. Um, Riot is from Lime Crime, a beautiful nudie shade. Love it, keep it. Uh, pumpkin from Lime Crime, it's a beautiful orange. This one is gone though. This one is, uh, is smelly. I think this one will go in the trash. Such a pity, it's a beautiful color. Such a pity. Lime Crime Eclipse is also like a dark but metallic red. I haven't worn it in ages, but it's so beautiful. I don't want to get rid of it. More nudes. This is my only Jeffree Star Thick as Thieves. I tried it at my friend Julia's place and it was so nice that I bought it. Love this nude on me. Quite similar to Riot, I would I would say, but a little bit deeper. Ultra Satin Lips, freaking frack, love it. Quite recent, actually, love this nude. Mauve almost uh, of a of a shade. Keeping that one too. This is an ultra matte lip, so unique. Also keeping that one. It's almost like a a purpley rose. Very beautiful. Dries down quite dark. Um, Catch and Feels is a satin lip that I love and I use a lot. It's a very good color for me. And uh, still good, luckily. Use these a lot. 
Uh, Tidal, similar idea, it's a brownie nude. Yeah, just really like it. <laughs> and Tansy instead is like this unique yellow poopy brown that I want to keep because it's just so beautiful and unique and I wear it actually sometimes. I have Calypso, which used to be one of my favorite nudes to wear. Still good actually. And yeah, I'm still gonna keep it, I guess. I haven't used it in a long time though. What else do I have? Mulak. I need to mix this up a little bit. This is Potter's Clay. Beautiful fall color for me. I wear it a lot. Nice orange tone, definitely keeping that one. Mulak Kiki Coral is quite recent uh, purchase for me. Keeping that one, where do I put it? Here, beautiful, bright, bright, corally red. Joy Brick is one of my favorite reds as well. Where do I put it? Here, oh, this is dry. It smells good though, very weird. Very dry. This is a gloss actually, shouldn't be here, but I guess it's together. Then rosy tones. This is really rose by Pixie. It's the only one of these that I kept. Mm, this smells bad, it's gone bad. I'm gonna throw it out. A pity because it's a pretty color, but I never wear these colors, so. More, something more that I wear more similar maybe is Barracuda, which is more of a, yeah, I don't know very dark, I don't know, but I like it. I wear it a lot, actually. Similar to this guy right here, which was, no idea. But this is an ultra satin and I love the formula. I can go to the reds maybe, because I have a few. I have Sephora 01, and I think I'm gonna get rid of this one because it's very old. And I have two other reds that I prefer, which are Ribbon by Colourpop. Still good, luckily. I'm so afraid that this one will turn because it's the most beautiful red I own together with um, Fenty Beauty Uncensored, which is unbeatable. The ribbon is a little bit deeper than the Fenty one. But these are my two reds of choice and I don't know if I want to keep no, because I have Kiki Coral if I want something bright. I'm not keeping the Sephora one. It will just go in the trash. It's super old. Um, and then I also have Underdog by Fenty in the mini version from last year, which is a nice deep shade. So dark, beautiful. Quite similar to that Coco Crush. Ah! Maybe I should just put them back in instead of holding them in front of me. Uh, and then the pinks. I have Sephora 03 which I got married in actually, like my first marriage, <laughs> my first wedding, same husband, first wedding. Um, it was a uh, spring, not uh, not official, let's say, not uh, not really party, big party with people wedding. Then I have these purples, which one is misbehaving, which is this, uh, I don't know, berry purple, beautiful. And the other one is Hutch, which was very old, still good very old fall release so dark gorgeous keeping all of those i didn't get rid of much this is a newer one for me coco connoisseur um i still need to test it a little bit more i've had such a bad experience with this formula though but i need to test it more i don't want to like erase it from my um uh, from my collection yet because i want to first test it one thing that I'm missing is from this series, a shade that I really, really love, the number 42, 54, don't remember, but I can't find it anymore. So I'm very sad about that. Oh, and then I still have these crazy colors, which are Red Hot from Lime Crime, which is a metallic bright red. It's my Christmas color. I keep it for that. And I have Xenon, which is the gold, which is also crazy color, but I keep that for, I don't know, crazy looks, gold, 
Why not? Sephora number 29, forced something I think it is. I like it for, I don't know, editorial looks more than anything. It's a green. Love these. This one, this is Velvet Ink uh, num uh, Young and Brave by Mulak, Mulak. And it's a beautiful, very wearable green. Like if you look at it compared to these shades, it's not. But I, uh, I would uh, definitely um, say that this is a wearable green. I really like it. And uh, I wore it in my Blood Money dupe video if you want to see it. Then I have Hazel by Black Moon Cosmetics, another green, but more green, as you can see. And Cider, which is more of a yellow mustard tone. Also beautiful. I, I searched for these so long. And then I have Armageddon, I think this one is called. I lost a sticker. And it's a metallic uh, dark red. I never use this, but it's so beautiful. I definitely should. And now they don't fit anymore though, I think. But these three will fit back here. Finally, I have a black that is black from Black Friday of Colourpop. Still good. I keep a black because a black liquid lipstick can always come in handy. And then I have the grey, which is Pity 4. It's a satin lip. It's a bluish grey. Still good. I'm gonna keep it just because I have it right there. And we've gone through my liquid lipsticks. Great. Final category for lips, and thank you if you've been hanging on until now, is glosses. And I decided to just throw them all here, which is better. Um, I also have a few mini glosses here from Jouer. And I have three mini glosses from Pat McGrath that are coming. But for the rest, here are my glosses. A few that I'm not, are not going anywhere are my Neve Cosmetics um, glosses. I love them all. Tiger in a Tropical Storm. I have uh, Mad Tea Party. I have Oriental Poppies, The Lady of Charlotte, and Persistence of Memory. I like them all. They're great, great glosses, long lasting. They're, ju they're just gonna stay. I don't have any question about it. Two new glosses for me are um, from Nabla, Stardust Radio. What I'm gonna do is swatch them to compare them, of course. Stardust Radio, which is a beautiful, like, corally glitter, beautiful shade. And uh, RSVP, which is this beautiful brown glittery shade. And I want to compare them because I have some older Colourpop glosses that I would rather get rid of if I have them duped in this formula. Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb and Fenty Glow. I said it a thousand times. I don't like this. It's so goopy. Um, but I have it and it's been in my purse for a long time so it's a bit battered and um, I, it's new. I don't feel like giving it away and I'm gonna keep it until it lives. This is also new, it's a lip oil from Clarence. It's not new in time, but it's new as in I wore it once because I always forget about it. And it's a beautiful, just glittery gold. Keeping that one. Also uh, from Nabla, I have Syrup, which is one of their more older glosses that is more opaque. Smells awesome. <laughs> it really smells good fruity. And if you put a little bit, not too much, this works really, really well. Keeping that one. I have from NYX these two guys, which I actually really like. These are the Slip Teas in Spiced Spell and Camel. And these are also opaque glosses that I wear by themselves. They are super comfortable, very long lasting and beautiful colors. Almost, almost like liquid lipsticks that don't set. Very beautiful. Um, what else? Now we, yeah, let's move on to the Colourpop ones. I love this one, it's Hypnotease. It was from a limited edition from Holidays. And it's just the weirdest gold gloss. Keeping that one. Yeah, still good. 
Then a favorite of mine is KT, and this is just an explosion of pink and gold glitters. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I can't get rid of this one. It's just too beautiful. It was from a very old Hello Kitty collection. And it's still good. Another favorite and more recent is Champagne Mami. And I need to mix them in a little bit. And it's this is also more of a nude, but still with a bit of shimmer in it. I really like this one. Very wearable. This one I think I might let go of. This is a uh, cheat code. Still good, but it's a metallic bronze. And I feel it's quite similar to um, Broadway by Jouet, which I also use very little. Well, it's actually not similar at all. But I I'm barely use Broadway actually. And I will just get rid of cheat code. I don't I don't wear it. It's just too weird of a color. Also super weird, but then this one becomes editorial weird, is Fingers Crossed, which is a blue-brown um, gloss. I think it's quite cool. Uh, on my lips it looks ridiculous. I'll put it here with my black uh, stuff, I think. Um, metallic gloss My Jam. Oh, this is pretty. It's still good. Oh, I'm keeping that one. <laughs> And then I have this one right here, which is, I think, Flurry, it was called. Also limited edition from a while ago. And I wear this occasionally for, like, more weird looks. It's quite a pretty, shiny, yeah, berry, shimmery gloss. Uh, just a berry cream gloss is Suki from a few falls ago. And this one here, first of all, the name reminds me of the Vampire series, which I really liked. And I think I'm just gonna keep it, I like it. I don't use these a lot. Um, Dropout is actually something that I do use because it goes really well with dark lip pencils. When you don't wanna wear a li dark lipstick, lip pencil with that one on top. I have Stain, which is the red version of that, let's say. I just have them in different colors. It's very pretty. These are a little bit more sheer than, for example, these ones. So they really work well with a lip liner underneath. And this one is fudged, which is the more brown one. Yeah, now I'm keeping all of these. I like them. Um, from Lancome, I have 515 in Absolute Lacquer. I think it's called like Happy Something. I saw it from Samantha Ravendall. I like this for summer, so I'm keeping it as well. I have two Pixie that were gifted, a uh, transparent one, which I use uh, quite a bit, so definitely keeping that one. Where would that go though? There. And then from Pixie I also have this one, which completely separated the glitter from the gloss. So I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. It's called Cake Lip Icing. It's the Chloe Morello collaboration. But I, I can't get out all the glitters, and it's a beautiful very similar to that one though. But I, I don't know, I like it, I use it, so I'm gonna keep it. It's very similar to uh, KT, which is one of my favorites. But I'm always aware, afraid that KT will finish, so I'm keeping this one, just in case. And the three Jouet glosses, Diamond Walk, it's like super light nudes. But they have their place with dark lip liners nowadays. I'm also wearing that quite a bit. This one is Rendezvous. And this one is Soiree. Are they different? Not really. Soiree is very pink. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of Soiree. There we go. And that was my glosses. I'm left here with this, uh, just a tint from Colourpop, which I'm just gonna get rid of because I don't use it. I have lip pencils still, but I went through them last year and since then nothing really much has happened and I'm getting the Colourpop kit, um, like a set of uh, lip pencils, so I'd rather do that later and um, probably on Instagram or something. If you've seen any lipsticks that you might be interested in, uh, especially the bullet ones which are easily sanitizable, let me know. Um, I 
put them on my Instagram, um, the things that I can't sanitize and I want to sell and they're still good. Other things will just go in the trash as that pile right there and liquid lipsticks are difficult to pass on. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. We've done the lip products. We don't have too much to go yet. Just all the eyeshadows. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss the rest of my declutters and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!